I guess for another uh, angle on the Kings move, um, how do I become Crazy George? I pulled at a local event last summer and my arm didn't go straight for about a month. And I thought my career as a real arm wrestler was over, but uh, I was able to fix it. But if this happens again, how do I embrace it? Man, just uh, get that strap on and start rolling out. Just start rolling. Learn the way of the sun. First of all, you gotta Learn. throw it. You gotta throw it all the mirrors in your home because you're not gonna be able to look at yourself again. So that's number one. Okay, you know, it's not that easy, man. If if it was that easy, everybody be doing it. And don't kid yourself. <laughs> Guys will do anything to win. Guys will do anything to win. Guys will kill themselves to win a freaking arm wrestling match. And we all know that. I don't disagree. And if you disagree. think that you wouldn't Kings move if you had it, you just don't have it. You're I one of those hook only I, guys. I go play bad. Don't tell me. Now. Don't even pretend with me that if you couldn't Kings move and beat everybody, that you wouldn't do it. If you say that to me, you're just a liar. I go to the okay? y YMCA and play and play fucking badminton and racquetball before I do Kings move. That's for fucking sure. If I need to get on the table and 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 wait till my opponent's down to five percent of his strength capacity, dude, you just can't do it. I, of course, stop I can lying to me and everybody else who's listening, Anyone and just admit. Can do it. Anyone just admit that it. you can't do it. Anyone can do it. The question is, can they do no, it? At you level? can't. Fuck, Let, can do it. You show me one match where you win against anybody legit with a king's move. What? Show me one. <laughs> Man, I don't. Tons do of it. guys do it. Why? Why would I do it? I, I choose because not to do it. you would win matches if you could do it properly. You know what? Putting arsenic in the beer of my opponent twenty minutes prior to our match will do too. But you know what? I don't find it that. Well, cool. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everybody knows that that's crossing the line. Oh yeah, everybody knows that. Yeah. But but dropping but dropping your chin to the pads is, is to, the, to the base of the table is fucking awesome. Like come on, that's still good in my realm, man. I, I, I know gotta, it is. You gotta I, pin I, that arm. Hey, I know it is. <laughs> you, ever, you, ever see, you ever see the the live match photos where it's just Michael's arm hanging up, sticking out above the table? Dude, listen, my YouTube channel. Every single video I get, every single video I make, I get like twenty comments. Like I'm gonna start like look at like there's he's not under this pillow he's he's not like man people it's I know it gets a ton of ridicule I know it does but I know that if people could do it they would I know I know that because I know people I I know that if people had it in their arsenal they they'd use it no. <laughs> I just don't believe it when dude if if you can if you could win by top row and you win by top it's called versatility. It's like not, if you can, no top rolling, you're, you're still using strength. You're using. Uh, I've never met a. I've never met a. Oh, listen, in Kings moves. There's strength in the Kings moves. Oh, Don't think that there's not. Up. Obviously, because it takes them nine minutes to fatigue their opponent before they can come and pin them. Well, so why aren't you pinning them? What? You're not strong enough. No, you know why they're not pinning? Because you're fucking leaning. Yeah, because right they're not strong enough. Because they did it wrong. They're not strong in the right place. You're bullshitting the wrong guy with this one, man. That, that <laughs> you're one, not one, listening. That, you, that Listen. Me. <laughs> if you're strong enough, you'll beat a king's move. Of you can beat you a king's move all sorts of different ways of if you're strong enough. Yeah. If, he, yeah. if you're 300% stronger than your opponent and he goes into king move, you're right. You can't beat him. Unfortunately, the framework of arm wrestling is not. Or if you're just stronger in the right place, yeah. you'll beat him. Yeah. Yeah, you've proven that. It's been proven. I'm just saying. The move not just itself, me. There's lots of guys. Yeah, Truman and lots you. Lots of guys can do it. Anthony Dallantonia, yes, it's been proven. It's just unfortunate yeah. that, that they were put in a position to do that. Um, well, they're they're going up against uh, uh, seriously. Look at, don't discount George. He's been arm wrestling for fifty years, like a psycho. Yeah. Like, how can you discount that? How can you not say this dude is worthy of of his accolades just because he uses a certain style that you know old broken people have to use? This is supposed to be a day of love. Stop fighting and feed your family. All right. Okay. You know that? I'm on it. Two he's, minutes. Two, he's, we'll listen. We'll, right, right. So this is, this is a, this is a conversation that will go on for another decade. He's been, duck, he's been ducking world-class arm wrestlers. Go to the Arnold's where the pin pads are two inches long. Two inches deep. Dude, long. Crazy to George close, is crazy. To yeah. close he's this crazy. Out, if I pull Rob Vigian, I'm going to have to take it to a new level. How do I initiate the King's move? How do I start training for this? It's my only chance to crack his hand. You know what? King's move actually is a good choice against RVJ. It actually is. RVJ has gotten to be a much better strap puller than he was a couple of years ago. But a cheetah doesn't change what he is. You know, you never really change too much. Vulnerabilities are a constant throughout your whole career. Um, 
if you want to start practicing the king's move, just get in a strap. Don't worry so much about keeping your hand high. Think about your thumb, roll, and give away everything at a cost to always rolling. And don't forget and about drag. Hip, yeah. hip and knee flexibility are important too because you're really going to have to get down and get down quick. Dude, you got to drag. You got you to get as high as you can, get as yeah. high as you can, okay. and then just drag and put everything in that roll. And then as yeah. soon as the match stops... Start climbing. And as you're soon as he wants to go again, roll and give it up. Roll and, and give it up. You're way too high. You should be way lower if you're gonna if you're gonna break down the king's move like that. No, your hand has to be at least a foot and a half higher than your forehead. Come on, at least get it right. If you're if you're gonna show it to us, get it right. If you're gonna break it down, break it down right. Well, the thing is, is you don't have that capability because your arm isn't so wonky. The yeah. dip in part only really works for guys who are really impinged. You know, that's where you get that extra real torque from that dip but anybody can do it anybody can do the move you just won't be able to get benefit from the dip until you're like stupid low because your arm actually does straighten still right yeah. Yeah. A, mon a monkey could wash my car but it'll still don't work see. king's move will is still a good move against him look at i king's move and i'm not close to the end of my range like i'll king's move matt because it's the right move to do against him like because his hand is dominant, right? So What's I, my other I do with Rob. Flop wrist press. Okay. What's my other Let's options for Rob? Flop wrist press. I don't know, dude. Can you hook him? Like he'll probably give you a hook. I don't know. His hand's pretty nasty. It is nasty. It is, dude. Yeah, I here's here's the thing that I w would always tell anybody to uh, to do when they're facing somebody. Don't adjust do your move and then take it from there. Like, don't go into it thinking you're going to have to do something else. Like, you may actually be able to, to dominate well, it the way you want. That match goes Herman on the attacking side, RVJ chasing and defending, whether or not his bicep can defend the side pressure hit of Herman. And uh, Herman, in about six, seven seconds, will will pin him. That's going to go every match. That's what's going to happen. W-A-L, so I feel like I have to do something wonky. Like yeah, gotta be <laughs> well, the big difference in WAL is just know you got that extra two inches off the back. Oh yeah, that's the big difference. And that favors Herman, <clears throat> and that favors Herman in that in that equation. It favors Herman. It favors anybody who likes to drag. It favors Herman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my anyway. my family's leaving. Guys, Literal. this has been great. I love you guys. You you guys rock. All right, log it off. Herman, I'll probably see you at the WAL event. Drellick, good good luck with your weigh-in, buddy. You make the best videos. And, and Gabby, I'll see you in like, uh, well, what, like two two months or something? Can't wait. Bottom eight, rock and roll. Fucking unreal. <laughs> see you, man. Thanks for coming on. Thanks so much, boys. Take care, Dev.